Garp versus All Might. Hi everyone, I am Rox, and today I'm going to be breaking down this matchup between two of the respected world's greatest heroes. Now, we're going to be doing just their standard forms, the most iconic versions, which are Old Man Garp and All Might when he's getting pretty close to his retirement, but still before his fight with All for One. So he still has one for all and everything of the sort. So let's break it down. Garp. Garp scales to the admirals. The admirals are, well, pretty strong. As far as attack potency goes, they are considered multi-continental. And since Garp is directly shown boxing Aokiji, literally as we speak in these most recent chapters he directly scales to them now that's good but there's speed now speed is contentious for one piece you have the most consistent which is like light speed and just generally a little bit faster than light or you can get into the crazier elements using pixel measurements and then adding multipliers on top of that, which can max out between 900 times the speed of light typically. So it's more of just what you want to consider. I'm going to be going with the highballs of each character today just to make everything a bit more interesting. So quick summary for Garp, multi-continental plus 900 times the speed of light. So yeah, pretty crazy. Now let's move in to All Might. All Might is quite the different character. Uh, MHA characters don't have many different instances of light speed. There's Aoyama with his lasers and then there's Stars and Stripes with her lasers. Now, that's not a bad thing whatsoever. And it's more of these characters are able to move at the same pace as Aoyama's laser, which is a beam of light. So it puts, all, it puts these characters who scale below All Might at light speed. Now, All Might is able to blitz these characters and that should put him at at least 20 times the speed of light if we're going off of that highball. But uh, that's not necessarily something that we can particularly put a point on. But he is at least 20 times faster than light. As evident through just characters needing to be able to move so fast to blitz another character. Now if you're wondering how blitzing a human eye works... I broke that down in my Modera vs. Admirals video, which you can go check out, and I give it a good little rundown there. Now, so, at 20 times the speed of light, the other component of this fight is attack potency. Now, attack potency, thanks to scaling from Stars and Stripes, who has attacks which are so large you can see the curvature of the earth and also izuku midoriya having the ability to destroy a thunderstorm which dwarfed a small island or not a small island but just a general you know not a continent and the force to require or the power required to propel a storm of that magnitude would put him in the small country level and All Might actually scales above both Stars and Stripes and Izuku Midoriya from the second movie. This is both because as the number one hero in the world and the greatest hero of all time, it makes sense that he would scale higher than a hero who is not called the number one hero of all time. I, I You know, everyone, everyone understand that? Good. So, Garp and All Might in their older, close to retirement forms are currently at 
900 times the speed of light and multi-continental versus 20 times the speed of light and small country level. So, unfortunately, All Might is getting rather clapped. I'm sorry to say. Now, a lot of people do wonder how these characters interact because they are very they do have a very similar move set and if i had to give an overall advantage all might is repeatedly shown to have abilities that can perfectly move air and allow you to manipulate weather not to a flawless extent but to enough that it would definitely cause a problem and Garp has been able to send out shockwaves, however, those shockwaves do not seem to be very precise. Along with that, All Might, most de All Might definitely has better experiences than Garp, due to just the nature of uh, my hero as a whole. Think about 80% of the population has a unique quirk. A quirk, and every quirk is unique, just sometimes they're not that unique like obviously for example for inheritance you have midoriya or not you have todoroki's fire and endeavor's fire they are very similar but they have different properties to them and that means that the quirk overall is projected differently into the world whereas with devil fruits uh there's not there, there just simply is not that many devil fruits in the world they're an extremely rare icon so while it is most likely that Garp has experience with weird abilities, the idea of him fighting toe-to-toe -to -toe with such weird opponents daily, like All Might does, is highly unlikely. But that's really the only advantage I can see All Might having against Garp in this battle, and even then, that's not enough to overcome the massive speed difference. The speed difference in this category is most likely what is going to put All Might in the ground. But, let's face it, uh, whenever you talk about a character who's not in their prime, their most important aspect is, well, how strong were they when they were in their prime? Well, don't worry, I'm going to answer that. But, before I do, I would like you all to do me a little favor. Now, I am currently on the road to 50 subscribers, so first off, if you guys have any suggestions on what kind of video I should do, leave them in the comments. Second, I have a goal to reach 100 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you would like more content like this, consider subscribing and just give your general thoughts on what you guys would like to see. Because, you know, it is a community and I love contributing to that and just having everyone and everything, you know. It's, uh, it's very well off now back to the rest of the video so all might in his prime and garp in his prime garp is pretty easy garp uh well he says he was he could have thrown things like twice as strong or depending on which translation basically you just double his strength when he's in his prime he's gotten about half as weak now that means that he being multi-continental Instead of being able to destroy two continents, he would like be able to destroy four or five. Just as a general um, seat of, you know, uh, reference. Also, the double times would, again, apply to his speed, which would put him around 1,800 times the speed of light for the highball. Now... All Might, on the other hand, we go off his off his statement with Nomu, where he's like, oh, I should have been able to beat him in five punches in my heyday, but it took over 300. So most people simplify it and throw it in as a 60 times multiplier. Well, where does that put All Might? That puts All Might at around 1,200 times the speed of light. And it takes him from small country level to multi-continental. This is just because, well, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, 60 small countries together will typically equal a continent or more than one continent, depending on how big the country is. 
Now, this would basically even out the characters. Once again, affirming that everything would be relative. Now, Garp does have the speed advantage again. So it would be more down to a testament turn endurance this time, since the speed gap is much closer than what it initially was. So that would lead to Garp getting more hits in more often, and those hits being more powerful, with All Might most likely struggling and being on the back foot of the battle. This is where endurance comes into the effect. Now, One Piece characters typically have higher endurances than most other characters, I find. This is due to the odd statements and just trying to make battles feel legendary, such as Akainu versus Aokiji for 10 days, and Ace versus Jinbei for 5 days, or Whitebeard versus Roger for 3 days. Those components just generally imply that One Piece characters have better stamina and endurance, which is the reason why I think a Garp would once again take the W in both characters' primes. So that means that Garp wins both in old age and in his prime. But that's just my opinion. If you guys have different ways to scale it, I would greatly appreciate you leaving a comment below. And also keep in mind this is a highball scenario, so take everything I say with a pinch of salt as we are both highballing both characters to give them the benefit of the doubt. Now, without further ado, I bid you guys farewell, and I hope to see you all again. Goodbye.